Well, here's a warm-up question uh, for probability density function definition from the previous segment. So um, just quickly going over the mark scheme for this. It is given that let X be the weight uh, of the suitcase checked uh, in for the flight and the probability density function is um, given by this. And X can take the values from six to 24. Uh, given that it is a well-defined PDF, find at the value of A. So we, we know that uh, if you wanna try this question, like just can pause and you can try it. Uh, the mark scheme is right below here. Um, when you have this as well-defined PDF, it is basically the area below that must be one. That's what is the, that's what we use. So if I use area from six to 24 for this function, that comes to be a one. And if I solve that, uh, obviously integration skills, you must be clear. So if I integrate, x square, integration of x square is x cube over three, integration of 30x is, um, integration of 30x is uh, 15x square, because 30x square over two, so that's 15x square and so on. So you gotta put the limits and if you solve that, uh, you get the value of A. So and now they're asking, the, what is the probability that the weight is uh, between 10 and 15? So when you say weight is between 10 and 15, it means you're gonna calculate the area of this function from, let's say this is the function here. And I wanna calculate the area uh, that will be between 10 and 15. So let's say this is 10 here and this is 15. So this is the area that gives the probability. So here, uh, if I do that, you can clearly see my answer comes to around 37%. The next part is find out the probability the bag is heavier than 20 kg. Now, don't, uh, um, skip to 21, lots of students make it like 21 kg, heavier than 20 kg. It can be like, oh, 20.1, 20 like it can be any values just beyond 20. So any infinitesimal values. Okay, so uh, what we do is we, in this case, we take the lower li limit as 20 and the upper limit as 24. So uh, if you integrate, I assume that you know the integration skills and you get this as 0.125. The same also can be done on the calculator. If you, if you have the calculator, you can straight away um, evaluate the probability on the calculator. I'm just showing you how to do the probability on calculator. So you can use the graphing feature or you can use the direct integration method. So I'm just gonna feed my function, which is let's say um, a one over 972. So one over um, 972. I'm just gonna take put it here, 10972. Then got uh, the function here is negative x squared plus 30x minus 144. So negative x squared uh, minus uh, plus um, 30x, 30x minus 144. So here we go. Now I'm just gonna delete other parts of the video, other parts of the, uh, Graphic, graphing calculator function. Now here, what we get is, if I make the view window, uh, zoom out, zoom out, we can see here approximately that this is, this is the PDF that I can see here. You can now use this to find the area, which is from 20 to 24. So I can go G solve, integrate, 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 and um, find out the area from 20 to 24. So find out the area from 20 to uh, 24. Uh, so I'll just go, I'll just take the view window from, first change the view window maybe to 26 or maybe 30 here, so that uh, the values can be accommodated here. Okay, so G solve, integrate, integrate from 20 to 24. So this area is 0.126. So if you see, this is the value that I was looking forward to. Now let's just check our values from here. So 0.126. So um, as far as the probability density function is concerned, you can use your technical skills, manual approach of solving the problems for for uh, doing the questions. In my next fragment, I'm gonna cover up the, um, the, the measures of spread and 
uh, measures of center. 